it's a cute little spaniel. I think you're a spaniel. A cocker spaniel is what you look like. I think so. Hi guys, it's Misty and welcome back to my channel. Today is the haul video from my trip to Trader Baker's and it's, it's going to be a pretty long haul. So if you need to go take care of business first, I mean, I guess you can put me on pause, but I'm going to get this done in one video. We're not going to split this up into two parts. We're going to do this in one video. Okay. So just bear with me. It's going to be a little bit longer of a video. Let me roll up my sleeves and let's get to it. This was like the, one of the first things that I had seen and it, I just liked it. I paid $2 for it. It is made by Giftwares Company. It's made in Taiwan. It has a hairline crack. I don't know why. I just liked it. It's just a school bus. It's a school bus planter. Y'all know I like planters and I just thought it was unusual and it could be given as a gift to somebody who drives a school bus, possibly. It does have a crack right there. It was $2. I still liked it. So we'll see. We'll see if somebody can put this to use and give it to somebody as a gift. I got quite a bit of planters that day. So I think I might just show you all the planters that I got. Like I got this dog planter. I have sold this one before. Some of the price tags were left on, but everything that I'm going to show you, I spent about $270 on. So I mean, I spent a lot that day, but I got a lot of stuff too. Here we go, the little uh, dog Cocker Spaniel planter. He's in excellent condition. He is white. There is a Celadon green one that is at the antique mall here in my local town that I have my eyes on, but they want too much money for it. I mean, for me, they want too much money for me to resell it. Um, I also got a Royal Copley pheasant, let's say. I just sold this exact same one last week. And this one was $4. So he is in great condition. This is not Royal Copley. I did it again. This is American Bisque. American, you are American Bisque, bird. Not Royal Copley. Okay, and then I got this. Now, I don't normally buy nursery planters. They just don't, they don't sell very well for me. And, but this one, this one was pretty cute. It's pretty cute. You know, it's a block. It's got A, B, and C, but I bought it because of that. I mean, come on. That's pretty darn cute. I, I This says I paid $4.95 for it, but I want to say that maybe there was a sale in this booth. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, but I thought it was really, really cute. Just that little cat face on there. It's cute. This little planter is borderline a nursery planter, but it's a figural planter. And that's kind of what you know, gets my juices flowing, so to speak, are these big figural planters. This one is just your horse or a donkey. Your horse or a donkey. But look, it's one of those little stitched. It looks like it's like a stuffed animal. Isn't he cute? Maybe you're a donkey because donkeys usually tow things around in a basket. So we're going to say that you're a donkey. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Now this can be a gift for a girl or a boy because it's pink and blue. There you go. That's great. Then this is kind of on the same lines of that, that planter. And it's this cute little dog, puppy. A puppy. And it kind of looks like it's stitched to... This one was interesting to me because it's also a wall pocket. So it's a wall pocket planter. Um, it was $8.23. So I did pay up for this, but I liked it. I liked it. I mean, that's just why I bought it. And I, I, and I know, I know that I have customers that will buy that. That's a very important thing that I want you guys to kind of take heed on is when I go shopping, I know I have particular customers that I know that I that I am buying things. I'm curating those things because I know I have a customer base for it. I mean, I could put this on eBay and easily sell it. 
you know, that, that the figural planters do really well. Any kitschy kind of things like that do really pretty well. Now, would I put this one on eBay? No, I wouldn't. I, well, because of the crack, when you're listing on eBay, you want to make sure that you divulge or divulge. I think that's the right way to say it. Any cracks, chip flaws, anything. Now, the difference is when I'm having a live sale, I can, I can show any kind of flaw or anything that's wrong with it. So that's kind of the beauty of being able to actually do the live sales and, and show things versus just listing it and trying to explain the damage. You understand what I'm saying? But just make sure that you do explain any, any, any damage. All right, planter. Oh, this one. This one is a little, this one's weird. It's a tri, no. Yeah, you're a triangle planter with two little squirrels. What are you eating, a little nut? That one's eating a little nut and that one's like, where's my nut? I want one too. I've never seen this before. Very cute. And then I got this one. I think this one is also American Bisque. Um, it's a little yellow log. It's a little yellow log with a chain around it. It's a yellow log with a chain wrapped around it. And, you know, it's a planter, so you can put a plant in it. But you can also put um, cards in it. Um, vintage ephemera you can put in it. I love the yellow collar. This one I paid $5.99 for. So I got that planter as well. And I got this planter. This is a swan. It is redware. And it's brown with this kind of yellowy purple hue drip glaze to it. Yeah, you are a swan. But it's in excellent condition. And I want to say I only paid a couple dollars for it. So I have a lot, people who do like redware. And they like swans, so it's a combination of those two worlds. I got this planter. I thought it was really pretty. I liked the little blue bird on it. It reminds me of Fat Bird Finds. But I liked the the subject matter on it. And on this side, it has a little, just a little flower. It looks to be hand-painted. I just thought it was really a little pedestal, for, pretty for spring, pedestal flower pot. I think somebody will like that. And then this planter, oh golly, this one's heavy. Now it's Morton Pottery. It's Morton Pottery. This was in the video. This was a dollar, a dollar. And it doesn't have any, there's no flaws on it anywhere. And it was a dollar. So that's great. Morton Pottery, nice big chonky, chonky planter for a dollar. I was shocked. I think you could probably tell in the Shop With Me video. And by the way, I will link the Shop With Me video down in the description below so you can go back to watch it if you would like. It was a good shopping day. Um, I'm not sure. I guess this might be considered a plant. Eh, probably not a planter, but it's crackle glass. Now, I paid $7.50 for this. And I, I, you know, I forgot my flashlight again. I always do. But this does not glow. I did test it when I got back. It doesn't glow, but it is pretty, pretty piece of crackle glass. You could put fairy lights in here and still, you know, use it in your decor and it would still look really pretty nice. I like that it kind of looks like a Jeff egg. It looks like it's a little broken egg. So it was $7.50. All right, I also picked up this cute little Westmoreland plate. Or no, it's not a plate. It's a soap dish. I just thought I like the shape of it. Um, it has really pretty designs all the way around. It's a little footed base. It is marked with the Westmoreland W on there. I paid $4 for this. I just, I really liked the shape of it. I could see some, some shaped soaps and stuff in here, or just like a little trinket box or a trinket tray. That's what I meant to say. I picked up another syrup thing. I am going to probably put some, I, think, I thought about getting some conversation hearts and putting them in there, or you could do that because I'm, uh, I'm probably not going to keep this, but that's what you can do. You can get, you can buy this, or if you have one, 
Uh, it's red, so it's great for Valentine's Day, but you could go to the Dollar Tree and just get a bunch of conversation hearts and fill it up with here. Fill it up, fill this up with them. That's the way it goes, Misty. Then, you know, it's a cute little display. So I got that and what else? I got these little juice glasses. They were 79 cents each. They stack. They probably would they would have came in a set of four. But cute little juice glasses. This. This surprises me. Do you guys remember doing these craft kits? Safety pins and beads. This is made from safety pins and beads. And it's a basket. And this I paid, I think I paid two dollars for it. But these, surprisingly enough, sell on eBay for about $25. I know. I was a little shocked, too. But it's really pretty. I love the green. So it's really cool for Easter. You could put some little Easter grass in here and some Easter eggs. That's fun. I was, I was surprised. Listen, I was surprised, too. But I have, I've had some little dolls that were made with safety pins and i know that i sold them before so i thought well this is a basket it's a nice big basket and it's two dollars so i think somebody might want that and it turns out well i hope that i'm right hopefully i can sell it uh in a live sale or possibly on ebay um i got these they were two dollars for the set they're this little made in japan apple cream and sugar isn't this pretty? It's made in Japan. No flaws on it. It has a little lidded sugar. I thought those were like two dollars for the set, which let me do misty math. That makes them a dollar each. Dollar each. Good job, Misty. All right. Then the next thing I'm going to show you is this cute little puppy dog. It's a cute little spaniel. I think you're a spaniel. A cocker spaniel is what you look like. I think so. But he's so cute. He's not a planter. He's just a big statue. He's super cute. And then, how about a cat? Where are all my cat ladies at? Because I'm one of them, so I'm right there with you. I got a Tanal the cat. I can't remember how much he was. It's in the video. I'm pretty sure I, I captured him in the video. But he was... Well, I don't know. His price tag is taken off. But he's cute. He has signed Mexico. And he's in excellent condition. He's a good kitty cat. I love finding that Mexican pottery. It's so pretty. It really is pretty. Um, I got these. Oh, here's another cat. I just see another cat right here. It's a little wooden cat. He's hand carved and he's made out of wood. It's like a little Siamese cat. Very, very cute. That's all the cats, but I got some owls. Now I have sold these before, so I got them again. They were $1.99 each, and it's a little mug that says, I love my grandpa, and I love my grandma. And I like the heart with the arrow going through it. The handle is a figural owl. Super cute. They were $1.99, oops. They were $1.99 each. These would be fun to give to grandparents for Grandparents Day. You could put a little plant in there. So, I don't know. I've, I've sold these before. So, I figured that, you know, well, it's a great price, $1.99. All right, I think this is the only, like, Christmassy thing I got. But I collect these, and I love her bouffant hair. She kind of looks like me today. Listen, I've been working in this shop all day. Just trying to organize it a little bit. I don't have any makeup on. I just threw my hair up. So you're getting full-fledged Misty today in all my undone glory. Congratulations. Um, but she's kind of my twin today with our bouffant hair. She's cute. Look at her little eyelashes with her blue eyeshadow. She's a tree topper. All right, I picked up, I'm just like scanning through what, what do I want to show you next? How about these? These were, they're made by Napco Wear. I think these are squirrels. I want to say they're squirrels. They are wall pockets. Now, they're very thin wall pockets. Like, you can't get a whole lot in there. But they're like little woodland 
So these would be cute in a cabin or a lodge decor. So they are, they, they go together as a set. They're looking in opposite directions. If they were both facing the same direction, then I would sell them separately. But I am going to sell them as a set because they're a family. They're a family of four. And they were $3.99 for the pair. So I think one of them, yeah, this one has been repaired. The little baby squirrel must have just jumped right on off of there. Honestly, you can't even tell from the front that that was broken off. You can't even tell. So I figured somebody, people like squirrels, and I figured somebody would like these. Sometimes, like I said, you just kind of go with what your gut's telling you. And my gut was telling me that I think somebody will like those. Oh, this is cute. This is a little nuggy. He is a little nugget. Oh my gosh, he was $2.99. He's a little bunny paperweight. I love his red eyes. Isn't he cute? So cute. He was $2.99. I don't think that he has any kind of markings on him at all, but you can really see the glass underneath there. Oh, so pretty. I like him. He just fits so nice in your hand. Okay, oh, I've got these. I'm gonna, um, these are gonna be for sale in a live sale. Either they're going to be for sale in a live sale or they have been for sale in a live sale. So these have already been sold. But I wanted to show them to you anyway. They are the Bailey's uh, Limited Edition. Let me take the rubber band off. This one is the two coffee mugs. The girl and the boy. So th these, I, I'm, I'm, sure, I'm hoping that those have already been sold. But I did get them on this day. So I wanted to show them to you. Um, I got another piece of brass. I'm not buying any more brass. I haven't even done my display with it yet. I'm kind of waiting for Valentine's Day to be over, but then there's Easter, so I'm not quite sure when I'm going to do my brass display, but I have a lot of it. And I don't think I have one this shape. I don't think. So I'm gonna go and look and see. I think I only paid a couple dollars for it. It's brass. It's made in India, as a lot of brass that we find is made in India. What else? Oh, this little cup here. This is a cute little baby cup, although it's it's potter. I mean, it's like a restaurant wear mug. It's not marked. This is a heavy duty mug. I don't think that you would give this to a baby. I mean, I think babies back when this was made, maybe we're a little bit more careful. We got babies today. They, they're not very careful with their things and they would just throw this and break it. It was a dollar. I Is that a soldier? I think that's like a soldier and then there's an elephant, a circus elephant. So I'm not quite sure what the relationship is, not unless that's something different, but it looks like a soldier to me and an elephant. No markings on it. I loved it. I love, I am really loving getting into this color. This color is, is on trend now. Blues are on trend. Who would have thought that blues would come back? I remember blues in the in the 90s, but blues are coming back. They are, they are. Um, are these the only salt and pepper shakers I got that day? Wow. I only got one set of salt and pepper shakers. They're cute. They're these little RCA dogs. They kind of reminded me of Maybell. There's two of them. I think it was Chipper and Nipper, I think were were their names. I can't see see that I paid $8 for these. They must have been on sale. But Chipper and Nipper are these dogs. They're the mascots of RCA. Um, I got a present. I got a present that I'm going to send to everyone's favorite, D. She suffers, uh, as a lot of us do suffer from this chronic disease or condition. Um, CRS, and we all know what this stands for. I don't have to finish it, but it was $3, but I'm going to send this to D. I actually saw it from across the booth and I was like, oh, I'm going to, I got to grab that and send that. So that's going to go to Niagara Falls, New York to go to D. Then I got some of this restaurant wear and I got five plates. 
They're all exactly the same. They are Syracuse China. But look how little they are. And I liked the shape. Aren't these really pretty? They are Syracuse China. I love that sound. Isn't that a great sound? You like... And listen, I'm being very, I'm very gentle when I'm shopping. I'm not throwing things around. Sometimes when you do a shop with me, you get comments like that because of the microphones that you're filming with, with either your phone or your camera. They're very sensitive. So it's not very nice to comment on somebody's uh, shop with me that you're tossing stuff around. We're not tossing stuff around. We I, we respect these old things probably more than just about anybody. So we're not tossing these things around. So that's the microphone. Trust me. Trust me. I've gone shopping with so many of these people and nobody is tossing things around. It's the, the, It seems like it. it's that perception that's being picked up from the microphone. I promise. But that's a good sound. I like that. I'm not sure what these are worth, but I'm going to sell them probably in a live sale. They're nice. I can't remember how much I paid for them. Some of the tags were taken off and some of them were. So I'm not, I don't know. But again, I, I think I paid about 270 for everything that I'm showing you. Um, I got this little ashtray. Oh, look how fun that is. Florida. Florida. That is fun. That's so cute. It's an ashtray, but it's like it has this little pinup girl on it. Um, what else? I got bags full of elephants. I got two bags. Two bags full of elephants. Now, I think originally these were part of a family. And there were probably was a big mama elephant. Well, they, they were all attached because they all have the little hole around their neck where they were chained. There are these three. And they've got their brothers over here. They were three, $3 per bag. So I paid $6 for all of them. Look at that. I'm doing math again. Easy math, but that's what I need. But they're kind of like pink and gray. And I don't know, since they're all separate, you'll have to let me know. Let me know in the comments if you think that these should be sold separately or all together as a set of six or a set of three. Let me know. I mean, I, I want to know what you think. I'm curious. So let me know if you think I should, if we should split the family up or we should keep them all together. What, what are, What's your opinion? Just leave it in the comments below. Um, and I got another little chained family. These are skunks, I think. Yeah, you're skunks. But there's the big mama, and she's chained to all her little babies. She's, again, this is kind of how a lot of mo mothers feel. Aren't you glad you don't, you're not forced to be chained to your children? Look at her face. She is over it. Papa... Papa Skunk needs to come home and rescue you, Mama. I don't know. I just love these. And these, these are redware. They are redware. And I, I don't remember because they took the price tag off of that. Uh, these were a dollar. And there's a little Wade Whimsy in here of a zebra. But for a dollar. Because there's also a little figurine in here. Oh, it's cute. It's made in Japan. I can just tell by the... Oh, yeah, it's marked Japan. It's the little kitties, a little mama cat and her babies. It is marked Japan on the mama's cat's back. It's bisque. I don't like the way bisque feels. This is a little Wade Whimsy of a zebra. Cutie little zebra. He's kind of a blue color. Those were a dollar for that lot. I'm saving my favorite thing for the end. I'm just scanning around. Oh, this. This is pretty cool. This is a bookend made by BP Import Products Japan. This is just one. There was only one bookend. But I sell one bookends a lot. If they're figural, people like to use them for their displays. The swoop of that tree's in a precarious 
spot, but it's just, it's the way that, I don't know, but it's kind of, now you can't stop looking at it, I know. I shouldn't have even pointed it out, but it's, it's kind of in a weird spot. You can see the label there. He's a really nice deer. He kind of looks a little scared. It kind of looks like a deer right before he's getting ready to cross the road. Like, should I go? I don't know. But look at those lashes. That's really cute. I did get some other bookends. These are lions. These are lions. And they look heavy. They're not as heavy as they look. They are, they remind me of that Wallace and Barry, but they are Dave Grossman from 1978. Aren't they fun? Now, these are lions. They're not tiger cheetahs. Those are lions. I love this one's face. It's like, dirt, dirt, dirt. and this one's like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be good. And this one's ready for shenanigans. So this one's, are they both marked? Yeah, they're both marked. Dave Grossman, 1978. Very cute. And they're like, again, they're not as heavy as they look. They're pretty chonky, but they're not, they're not that heavy. I did get a little plush. Do y'all remember Shirt Tails? I'm, I keep singing the DuckTales song, but it's Shirt Tails. This is Rick because it says so on his shirt. This is Rick the Raccoon. He's part of the Shirt Tails gang. It has the shirt tails tag. When I first saw him, I thought he was a bootleg. Bootleg, because he didn't look like what I remember the shirt tail plush is looking like. There's his little raccoon tail. Um, but this is copyrighted 1980 Hallmark. But there's Rick. He's waving hi to you. He looks a little angry. Urgh. I don't know. But these sell for about $10 or so. I want to say I paid a dollar for him. I, I want to say. I did get this beautiful bull. I paid $8.99 for this, but I think that it is lovely. And like I said, blues are on trend. They're coming back. People are decorating with blues. This is gorgeous for a couple different reasons. I like that it's fluted and it has this little bit of like an opalescent around um around the the edge of it it doesn't have the ring of fire necessarily around it which is kind of a a clear separation between the the glass and the rim but it has these really pretty stars in the center of it isn't that pretty i just really really like it doesn't glow but i really really liked it i mean i like the way that it feels like the stars are bumpy on it so i did pay up for this but I love this color. Blue is good. Good, good, good. All right, and I got these. These are going to be good. I got poodle ladies. These are genuine bone china poodle schnoodas. Poodle schnoodas. They're brothers. They are genuine bone china made in Japan. They're fun. They kind of look like a Lefton knockoff because they are Lefton poodles that look just like this. But these are like more glazed. They look a little bit like a knockoff of Lefton, but they're still cute. And I've got poodle gals. Hi, my poodle gals. You know who you are. All right, what, what else? I'm just scanning to make sure before I, I did buy some. Oh, no, I got this. Oh, wait a second. Let me go get my black light. I did get some uranium glass. I got these three coasters. Or are they ashtrays? Maybe they're personal ashtrays because they have a little divot in them. There are three of them. See, there's a little divot right there. They're depression glass. They do glow. Ooh. I, it's just so much fun, isn't it? So I got those, these, and then I got the cake plate. And it's really pretty with these flowers on it. It's a little pedestal cake plate. These are really nice in displays to have just a little bit of a riser, just a little bit of a separation between your countertop and your display. This is not going to pick up on camera very well, but it does glow as well. I loved the design on it. These are really nice, really nice piece right there. And it, neither one of these 
have any any chips cracks or flaws on them they're in good condition okay now i did get some linens um this is a tablecloth it's a table topper but look at how pretty that is uh this is so pretty i think i'm going to again this video is going to go out after my live sale but i am going to put this one in my live sale because of the red in it and i think somebody might want it you know with their valentine displays and we're getting to the end of the valentine season um i got these pink or this pink doily this one i probably will uh, i might sell this this week too just a little circle pink doily this one is another table topper and i liked that it had i like the colors it's this orange and blue and it has this teapot right there I like the, the feel of the fabric. It's in really good condition. Each four corners has a little teapot and it has a scalloped lace around it. No stains, no holes. It's in good condition. This, oh my gosh, I love this so, so much. This, what I'm about to show you, will only be for sale during a live sale so it's not going to be for sale like you can't email me about this thing i'm gonna i'm gonna put it in a live sale and it's this beautiful pillow with this embroidery where it almost looks like cruel on this pillow and the pillow itself is very velvety and oh my gosh isn't this so pretty aren't these the color contrast the black with the yellow and the pink i think is very striking it's just, it grabs your attention. I love this. This is so good for spring. Oh, I love that so much. That's not in my color palette at home, or I might, you know, you know, I might want to keep that, but I'm, I'm not going to. Now, before I get, well, let me show you this, and then I've got some books to show, and then I'll show you, I'll show you my favorite favorite, favorite thing. These are my, actually my favorite two things that I'm going to show you, and then I did get some books. And the books were all, most of them, I think most all of them were a dollar each. They had like a, a shopping cart when you walked in and it was full of books. And so I sat there and I dug through some of the books and got the ones out that I liked. I love this. This is a souvenir piece from Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And it is a box for stockings and handkerchiefs. And you open it up and it's a velvet lined box. The box itself is sort of like a like a cardboard with a with a some sort of a covering on it. Isn't this beautiful? I love this. It's very like romantical and I don't know. I just think that it's it's lovely. I like that. This is my favorite thing. Now I paid up for this. Ooh, I paid up for this. I did. I paid $10 for this, but I think that it is worth it. Now, I did try to look this up on eBay and WorthPoint, and I couldn't find it. So, I'm not quite sure, but the, if you like vintage advertising, it clicks that box. If you like vintage bottles, it clicks that box. It is Wave Curl and Set for Water and Finger Wave. It's, a, it's for finger waves. And look at that bottle. It has its original paper label. Look at the Nike ladies. Look. This is a family show, gals. They're, they're, they don't care. They are dancing in their nakedness. Because they're, they're, look at the waves on the side of the bottle. And it has the same design on both sides. This is York and Company. And the, this is, I love, look at the font on that. Uh, do you see the faces on there? I'm going to have to think about this. I love this. And it's from the York Pharmaceutical Company, or no, Pharmacal. That's not a word, is it? Pharmacal? It, anyway, it's from St. Louis. But oh my goodness. And I think I can probably get, that looks like a wax crown or something. I'm going to try to get that off very, very carefully because I want to keep this paper label on there. But, oh, I love this so much. That, this is my favorite thing. This is my favorite thing that I bought. This bottle. 
and the handkerchief box. Those are my favorite things. All right, I, I got some books. I'm, I've been really getting into ephemera. I have a lot of ephemera. And um, so I've been, I've been buying, it, it's, it's been, I've been noticing it more, let's just say, because I would not really notice it. I really wouldn't even really pay it any mind, but I'm starting to really fall in love with it. Um, but this book is just a fun book. It is from 1983. Poochie. Poochie! Do you all remember Poochie? Oh my gosh. It, now, Poochie takes a balloon ride in this book. Oh my gosh. Poochie went on a balloon ride. And Hoover Hound. Oh, and look, Mustard the Cat. And that creepy frog. I loved Poochie. Gosh, Poochie's just like kind of a symbol of the 80s, you know? And then I got this. Now, I'm very upset because I, the person put the sticker over this beautiful graphic when on the inside of this book, it's, they could have stuck it right there. But they stuck it over here, and I tried. I, I used the hair. I could not get it off. So that just makes me mad. But this still is a fun, fun to cook book. This little redheaded girl. There's the back. It's nice because it's spiral bound. But on the inside, oh, there's a, it, it's the recipes for children to make with you. Meatloaf, five minute fudge, grapefruit surprise. Uh, supper was served. The graphics are cute in that. Fun to cook book. Now, this very front page has a little tear in it, but I thought it was fun. It's just too bad that someone had to put that sticker over it. Gosh, it just drives me nuts. This is my temper tantrum again. I'm throwing another temper tantrum. Don't put... Don't put stickers over beautiful pieces of paper. Just don't do it. Okay? All right, temper tantrum is over because I think that's the only one that has a sticker over it. Like this person, now, this book was a dollar. It was in the dollar thing, but I got this for Mr. Retros. Hi, Mr. Retros. Hi, Liz Retros. I love them. If you're not subscribed to their channel, what, what? go, go and do it right now. I will link their channel in the description. They are my favorite. I love them so much. They know I'm, I'm, I'm borderline creepy with them, probably. But I'm really not creepy, Liz and, and Mr. Retros. I'm really not. But I got this to send to Mr. Retros because he likes trolls. And this is a, an illustrated price guide for trolls. Ooh, they're Smoky Mountain trolls. I didn't know there was such a thing. Bisque, tro bisque trolls. Ew, why? Um, the Norway, ooh, the Norway trolls. Those are fun. But I wanted to show you also that this person was a smart person and they just wrote in pencil right there the price that could be easily erased. So whoever your booth was, you did a good job. This, I don't remember if this was in the dollar box or if I, if I paid a different price for it. But my gosh, I love this book. I like the graphics on it, but you can have more fun with magic, says this child. Or Joseph Leeming actually wrote this book. But it, again, has, um, you know, you can learn magic tricks with this book. Like the Tip Top Coin Vanish. It teaches you how to do it. You will learn secrets of being a magician in this book. But I really like the graphics on that. This book here, I just kind of bought it for the nostalgia of it. It was a dollar. But it's a Garfield. It's a hardback Garfield treasury. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I, I, I just, it was a dollar and I liked Garfield. So I got this. Cause normally you see these Garfield books and they're in paperback. And I like that this was a hardback. It probably at one time had a dust jacket on it. It would be great if it had the, the label on the front. It does on the bind or on the spine. Then I have, I don't know. I need to look these up. I will put the comps on these because I'll, I'll look them up um, when I'm finished but these were a dollar each and these are they're 
two programs from the Indianapolis 500. One is from 1940. Let me take it out of the plastic. 28th International 500 Mile Race. Oh my gosh, it's got really cool graphics in it. And look at those race car drivers. So this is from 1940, Indy 500. And then this one is from 1937. So I don't know, I thought there might these might be good for a dollar. So I, I'm gonna see and I'll let you know. The next three books I got, this one just was funny. This was $3 for Betty Crocker's Parties with Children or Parties for Children. Fun games and food. Look, they're now you can't do this game anymore. No, do not play bobbing with apples. But this is from Betty Crocker and it, the illustrations in it. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. Look at that. So it, it games for younger children, the potato race, the pig race. I mean, this was before you could just like Google games, party games for children. You had to read this book. We had to go buy this book. You couldn't just Google it. Oh, this one's paperclip. The memory teaser. Burglary. I liked it. It's fun. It's just cool. And then this book I got because I thought maybe, again, this one was a dollar, and I thought maybe somebody might like this if they wanted to read these classic stories to their children or their grandchildren, or if they just wanted to use the pages for junk journaling. It is My Giant Storybook, 40 children's stories in color, famous fairy tales, animal stories, and adventure stories. I like the graphics. It's very 1960s, 1970s. Let's, let's find out. When are you copy, when's your copyright date? 1972. But here's Sleeping Beauty. So, I mean, for a dollar, I, I, I think somebody can put that to good use. And then this one was also a dollar, and she's kind of creepy. It's a big golden book. Woo! Hello. Let me in. Look, it's Little Sugar Bridges. Little Sugar Bridges, you're looking a little creepy. Yeah, you are. Little Sugar Bridges. Um, but now they originally wanted $8 for this, but I got it for a dollar. And, oh, they even put that it sells on eBay for 10 to $20. Does it, though? Does it sell, or is that an asking price? I don't know. This one is has a little condition issue there on the bottom. But the wonders of the season... Oh, look, there's little Jeffrey flying his kite. And there's little Barb playing with the caterpillar. Oh, there's Jeffrey and Barb playing again. There's little sugar britches on the merry-go-round. Oh, this is so cute. The illustrations are so cute in here. Little Jeffrey's climbing the tree. Fun. Really sweet. So I thought it was definitely worth a dollar. Now they... Put, they, they, okay, I said I wasn't going to throw another temper tantrum, and I'm not, but don't do that. Don't put stickers over the, over the thing. Um, but that's it. That is, I mean, this was a long haul. This was a long haul. So I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you've stuck around for the whole thing. Let me know if you think, you know, if you think I should split the family up or you think I should sell them all together. I'm curious to, to get your to get your thoughts on this. But if you see anything that you might be interested in, you can send me an email. It's down here below, thrifterjunkervintagehunter at gmail.com. It's also in the description of this video, so you can go back and look in the description and then just copy and paste it and you can send me an email. Um, and don't forget to come to my live sales every Wednesday at one o'clock Eastern Standard Time where the majority of this stuff will be sold on the live sale. And with that, oh, I, I guess I need to tell you one more thing. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.